Hello and welcome. Um, today we're going to be working on um, working with vectors, vector equations of lines in, uh, in three dimensions. And um, the situation is uh, we have this line in space and I'm trying to figure out the distance from the origin. Now I want to preface by saying that um, in this problem distance from the origin can be, the origin can be replaced by any point. And the algorithm that I'm about to show you um, will be virtually identical. It will just require um, uh, just a minor adjustment if we're going from any other point. Um, so anyway, um, I went on to GeoGebra and got a geometric representation of the line. Um, I rotated it around, take a look, see if I can predict, uh, you know, where the where the shortest distance is going to be. And recall that the shortest distance is always going to be perpendicular. So now that I have a sense of what I'm looking for, I am going to um, see if I can figure out how to do this. Um, so the first thing I need to understand, when I have the vector equation of the line, um, I can actually determine the coordinates of any point on that line as a function of the parameter t. Um, in other words, uh, right here, uh, if I allow t to be any number, any real number, um, substituted into this, which is coming from the parametric form of the vector equation of the line, uh, then I'm capable of finding the coordinates of any point on that line. Um, so d will represent the distance from 0, 0, 0 to any point on the line. And therefore, using the Pythagorean theorem um, on steroids, uh, we get, and I saved you the trouble of uh, having to watch all this miserable algebra. I did the work on paper and transferred it over here because I trust we can foil and collect like terms um, several years ago. Um, so anyway, uh, this now represents the distance from the origin to any point on the line, not just the shortest distance, but all of the distances along this way. If I let time be 10 seconds, it'll be some point out here in space or here, I can't remember the direction. Um, but nonetheless, that allowing that time, I substitute that in here, and now I know the exact distance from the origin to any point on the line. But when we say uh, distance, uh, it's always assumed that we are talking about the perpendicular, the straightest, shortest distance. So, uh, since what is under the radical is quadratic. If I can minimize the quadratic, I can minimize the distance itself. So I just use uh, opposite of b over 2a for the axis of symmetry. And now I know that at 76 over 21, uh, which is what, five or six seconds or something like that, that's when the line is going to be passing at the shortest possible distance uh, to the origin. Now you can see how uh, this has implications in, uh, um, in, in space travel and in talking about NASA. Um, and they have uh, obviously not straight linear orbits, but uh, when a comet is coming towards a planet, we can actually trace when it's going to reach its apex, um, like here. So anyway, I digress. We go back here. This is the moment when the distance uh, from the line to the origin is at its shortest, which is what I'm looking for. So I go back to the equation of the line I was given, and I substitute my minimum time value in for t. And again, I'll spare you the number crunching and show you that this represents the coordinates of, or that, sorry, the, the position vector uh, from the origin to the point on the line at the closest possible point. Now here, um, I did a little bit of the legwork on GeoGebra as well, um, where we can see, um, first of all, that I have the line as you saw it in the, in the video, and we can see, get a better picture of it now, rotating around. Um, and then I found um, the way to draw a perpendicular line, and again, I make sure that it actually intersects. And uh, remember, in the video, or not in the video, in the, in the writing portion, um, I found the coordinates of the point of intersection. Uh, and so I programmed that, and that is point D, and we can see again that it is on the, the intersection. Um, I'm sure you can appreciate how rewarding it feels to see it all come together like this. <laughs> um, so I have uh, pretty good evidence uh, that I do indeed have the correct vector. Um, and uh, the correct, then, the correct distance. So um, I didn't do this in the writing um, because it said determine the distance. Um, the one thing that I didn't do, and I'll spare you again from having to even watch it, is I did not yet find the distance. All I have to do is find uh, from the origin to this point, which is, you know, basically, I just use the Pythagorean theorem on these uh, coordinates. And, and that'll be the distance that I'm looking for. So forgive me for not writing it out, I'm tired. All right. <laughs> um, 
Now, just to add a little bit uh, to this, if you were asked to find the vector equation of the line um, that is perpendicular to the given line, and that also goes through the origin, I got I made a typo here. And that also goes through the origin. Uh, it's a very simple process because we simply say that the, uh, um, the vector position x, y, z starts at the origin and heads off in the direction of that point that we found out in space. And to make the point even more clear that this is all good, I had the, uh, the digital or the calculator, I'm sorry, the uh, computer representation, but if I was taking a test and I wasn't sure and I didn't have access to GeoGebra, um, I could always take the dot product of the, uh, the point of intersection, or which t ends up being the direction vector of the normal to the line. Um, and it's also... I lost my train of thought because I was <laughs> trying to remember the vocabulary, and as I said normal, I'm like, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, anyway, um, you take the dot product of the direction vector from the origin to the line with the vector direction vector of the given line, and that should be zero. And of course, these are all rounded numbers, and so I got an approximation. That was three one hundred thousandths. Uh, therefore, I consider that to be good enough to be zero. And uh, again, the, the computer verification was also pretty solid. So um, that's a complete process. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, have a great day.